Today's video is how to set up a pre-flight checklist. So let's get started. Setting up a pre-flight checklist is a good idea if you're an experienced pilot or a beginner pilot. This allows you to make sure that your aircraft's ready to go in the air and also keep you from having maybe a crash or an issue pop up by using a simple pre-flight checklist. So what you wanna do is push enter, scroll down, you're gonna go into the system setup, click yes, and then scroll down to pre-flight setup. Now you can see I've already got a few things listed on the screen here. The way this works is you can set up seven different pre-flight checks, and when you activate them, whatever's out to the right will pop up on the main screen. When you go down here and push enter where it says inhibit it will say ACT which is active so now we would have one out of four items for our pre-flight checklist first would be wing bolt secured let's go ahead and turn on prop secured battery charged and canopy attached down at the bottom you have modulation that's inhibited or active you want to turn active on so just because you make these active at the top doesn't mean that they're enabled you have to go down here and activate the pre-flight setup list then you have execute which is per session in every flight we're going to set it up for every flight now let's back up and when we go out of this menu and go to our main menu we're going to see our pre-flight checklist pop up here we have the four items to make sure we've done. And then you'll notice at the left, you have a box and it's highlighted. As you do these things, you push enter to check them off the list. Now you notice that you can scroll up and down. So if you happen to do one out of order, but you've already done it, you can go ahead and select that as well. So for example, let's say we've already made sure our battery's charged. We can go down here, click on battery charged. Wing bolt secured, prop secured, canopy attached. Now we're at the main menu. Now let's go back and look at a few other things in the setup. So when you come to this menu and you don't have anything selected or set up, you will have just like five, six, and seven is. It will say inhibit and you'll have a blank spot. So what you do is you go down to the blank spot and click on INH, which is inhibit, and change it by pushing enter and you will get a list. The list is kind of short. However, there is a lot of useful presets already set up in this menu. So let's go to the top and let's go to test controls. Okay, now we've added test controls to the list. Check the controls on your airplane, you would click it off. But you're probably thinking, well, BD, what if I want to set up test ailerons to make sure they're not reversed or test the rudder and make sure my steering's correct? What you can do is once you pick something on that list, you can push enter and you can go in here and you can label what you want on the pre flight setup that's not in that menu we were just looking at. So for example, instead of test controls, let's go to type in check ailerons. And with this, you could customize any way you want. You could put um, aileron orientation or aileron correction. You know, you could Put whatever you want to, and I'm just using that as an example. So check. And I'm just going to shorten it up and put AIL. So now we'll push back. It'll put the box at the top. You push it one more time. Now we've got check L. We're going to go back to the main menu. Now that's added to our list. Additionally, you can go to system setup and let's go back into the 
pre-flight setup. If you want to remove something that you already put on there, so for example, if we want to take this off, we'll click enter, push enter at the list at the top. You need to go to the very end. Clear everything out and then back up twice. Now that's been removed. So if you want to remove something just from the list, you do it there. As I mentioned earlier, if we want to remove something out of the middle, let's say we only want prop secured and attached canopy. We go to battery charge and click INH, which is inhibit. We go to the top, click inhibit on wing bolt secured. Now let's back up. You'll notice that we only got the two that we just talked about. So that's the basics of setting up the pre-flight checklist. If you found this video informative or learned something new today, go ahead and like the video. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next one.